For each diagram below, indicate the direction of the magnetic force on the charged particle. Well, the first thing we need to do over here on the left is realize that the magnetic field runs from north to south outside the magnet. So our magnetic field is going to look like it has that direction. Then we're going to take our left hand, because it's a negative charge, and point the fingers of your left hand in the direction of the particle's velocity, bend them down in the direction of the magnetic field, and you should find that your thumb is going to point into the plane of the page, of the screen. Therefore, the direction of the magnetic force in this case is going to be into the plane that way. Over here on the right hand side, we have a positive charge, so we can use our right hand. Point your right hand in the direction of the particle's velocity, bend your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field into the plane, and you should see that your thumb points toward the left of the screen, so you would get a magnetic force, in this case, to the left, just practicing using those right hand rules, or left hand rules if it's a negative charge. All right. Last question. An electron released from rest in a magnetic field. An electron is released from rest between the poles of two bar magnets in a region where the, magnetic, where the magnitude of the magnetic field strength is 6 tesla, as shown below. What's the magnetic force on the electron? Oh, here's the key. It's at rest. The magnetic force is going to be 0 since V equals 0. Remember FB equals QVB sine theta. You only have that force on a moving charge. If V equals zero, then that whole thing is zero. No magnetic force. So our answer, zero. All right, hopefully that gets you a good start on magnetic fields and magnetic properties. Thanks for visiting us at educator.com. Make it a great day, everyone.